Hi. Hello, you fucks. Welcome to John Solo's Beard Brigade. I'm John Solo. You are not. And uh, we got we got the Black Rifle coffee cup going on today. I'm very excited about that. Um, I've gone through... My, my friends all sent me coffee cups for Christmas. And thank you, friends, for sending me coffee cups for Christmas. I really appreciate that. But they're all dirty right now. So I'm down to the one coffee cup I had sitting there that I... I did not, well, I didn't buy this one either. I don't know, Black Rival sent it to me, but the best fucking coffee you'll ever have in your life. And yes, Lisa, I know I still need to send you some coffee, but there, right there, Black Rival coffee. It's amazing. Um, anyways, hello. We have an interesting week this week. Um, first off, I have taken the, uh, y'all know I've been, uh, I've been stopping the smoking, right? And we're doing really good at it. And this week I took off the patch. No more patch for John, which means I'm feeling a little crazy. <laughs> like I'm up and down. I'm up and down. It's uh, it's actually more challenging than one would think. And uh, I haven't been perfect, but I've been pretty good. And the no patch thing has kind of got me a little wonky today. Um, so I my apologies if I don't make any sense whatsoever. I trust that my guest this week will hopefully rein me in with that kind of shit. She's pretty good about that. She don't let me get away with shit. Um, this week we have a. Uh, well, not much going on. We've got a, we're, we're finishing up a Nora Phoenix book. It's the uh, new daddy at 47, which is weird because he's already been a dad, but it's the other guy. It's the daddy in this one. And uh, it's the uh, uh, 47 duology book two. We're finishing up that. We're going straight into AJ Llewellyn's uh, Mingo McLeod series. And we're going to be finishing up that hopefully by the end of the week. Um, we're doing, of course, the Ramblin' Gramblin' show that I'll post on Friday, but I'm actually leaving on Friday afternoon. My brother and I are going jeeping again. It's the first time he's gone jeeping with me this, uh, over the last year. So we're going to go down to Kentucky. We're going to be going for a few days. There'll be no morning coffee on Sunday. So everybody remember that. And there will be no talk to the beard next Monday. Uh, it's Valentine's Day. So as you all know, um, well, maybe you don't know. My wife and I are going to celebrate Valentine's Day this year. It's going to be wonderful. Um, it's going to be fun. So anyways, the guest that I have on this week, I haven't seen this gal in quite a while. She's a good friend of mine. Um, as you all know, she's very good friends with Anna Bird and, and Katie and, and that kind of crowd. And um, the last time she was on here, she surprised me with, I'm not going to just, without any more, I, I give you Anna Weinhardt. Hello, Anna Weinhardt. Hello. Now, I remember this outfit. What you got going on there? You, it's a unicorn. Yeah. Yeah, the unicorn with the It's with the like penis. rainbow. Things, is that a, but yes. It's, it's a penis or is it a horn? Uh, kind of looks uh, like a I'll penis. I'll let you decide. But I think that's a penis. That's definitely a penis, I think. Um, it's a very nice one. Um, I remember you, you wearing that when, I, when I've seen you before, so that's been a, a common one. How the hell are you, dude? I, see, it feels like forever since I've seen you. Are you doing all right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, I know that... Uh, um, well, for one, let, let's let's get this. I, I know that you've had kind of a hard uh, year or so, and I know that uh, you were kind of out of the. You kind of had to step back from the writing game for a second. I know that your husband, and I've seen updates. I think everybody knows that your husband has had the cancer, and and your husband's actually doing fairly well at this point. Um, and I've seen pictures, mm -hmm. and actually, he looks healthier than me, which is. It's not saying much, but it's still. He's he's looking pretty good. So congratulations, and I'm glad that everything's thank going you. all right. Yeah, thank you. Um, now. You are back in the writing game, is that correct? You're back to writing the books again? and Pretty much. I, I haven't really stopped. I mean, I've just slowed down, but but I've been writing like, quite a bit. Almost is it, every uh, day. Is it still the, the Firefighters? Is it that series? No. What, are, what are you working on? No, I'm like two series down from that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't keep... It's been I a while. I, I haven't been in Slack. I, I can't... I can't keep up with the message services. We used to hang out in Slack, and then I came over to Discord, and you're kind of in Discord sometimes, but you're more of a Slack girl, and I'm more of a Discord, and, like, I can't keep up with, like, if I, because I want to get notifications on one, so I get notifications from Discord. If I have two, and I'm trying to keep up with all, I just can't do it, so I stay in Discord. Figure everybody knows I'm there. That's where I'm going to be. Um, Tracy said that you're on the professors now. Is that what you're on mm -hmm. now? Mm -hmm. And uh, is it Professor Daddy things is that going no, no, no. on? No, okay. like the professor. No, they they are getting together with their students. Oh, so it's the like a teacher student thing. Is that 
okay, <clears throat> as a girl from now, it's was it Singapore? Is that yes. where? Is that like a? Is that a common fantasy thing? The the older teacher and the student kind of. I don't know. Where I this don't guy, know. I mean. Did your friends also get into this sort of thing when you were? With I the think manga it's just me. Com? I mean, just you. I mean, I write about stepbrothers and um, weird people. So. Yeah, I always wondered about the stepbrother thing too. I didn't quite get that one either. I mean, did you have a stepbrother when you were? No. Just so, how did that fascination come about? I mean, like it's it's, well, if you know me, you know I like angsty things, right? Anything that makes them unhappy. So literally, if you like your your teacher is forbidden and you know it's not supposed to happen. So it's like that's exactly what's fun about it. Well, I, I see. Stakes I, and lose, you know, the jobs. <laughs> Well, that's that's even going beyond. But I I, I, I get and I understand. Uh, I came from a very religious background. You, you know, we've, we've talked to my friend. Um, but like, I never really like I'm not looking at like nun porn and that sort of even though I'm not Catholic, but still like I, I wasn't Catholic. But uh, like, it's I never. Think... Have you gotten into the nun porn thing? I mean, <laughs> I don't no, know. no, but the the Mormon ones are pretty interesting. Have you seen them? Like it's these Mormon boys and the priests and. Oh my God! No, yeah. no, I haven't. I they have opened up a whole new thing in my mind. <laughs> y'all are, y'all are some kinky people. I'll tell you. I learned so much from, and uh, so I guess what I was, we we've talked a lot about your your. It, how long have you been in California now? Is it ten years? Is that about right? Eight, about eight, eight, eight yeah yeah um when you came over you were somewhere in the midst of 20 years old somewhere there from singapore ish yeah did uh how many i forget how many siblings did you have or do you three. have i'm sorry three and all, all sisters or a brother in there well one brother two sisters yeah. and are they all older or are you in the middle somewhere younger no nope. younger so you're the oldest <laughs> when uh Anna Bird and I were talking the other day, uh, and what I'm trying to get at here is kind of the, the difference in cultures, right? One of the difference in cultures that she said was, and I'm sure she told you to, um, you two talk more than, than me and her do, that uh, uh, one of her friends was shocked that when they came over to America, there were advertisements on the gas station uh, pumps. You know, like you get to the car and you pump the gas and there's advertisement thing on there. Apparently that's not a thing over in Europe overseas. Um, what was one of the first big shocks when you came over to, to California, like the first time, one of the first big, like, oh my God, that's totally different. Ha, ah, that's difficult because it's been eight years, right? So is that a cock next to your face? Is it? <laughs> I just, it's a small it is, one. I, that's not small. I'm, that's not, that's not small. Uh, Hold it's that, the uh, smallest uh, one I have, but. Jesus fucking Christ, I feel bad now. Um, now I can see, so can I put it up a little bit further then, the, just to get some size? Okay, yeah, that's normal size. That's not... No, no, no. You know what the special thing about it is? It comes? When... Oh my God. It's broccoli. Stop, I like broccoli. I can't... Oh, you like it? I thought you hated it, but hey. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm liking it less and less now. I... <laughs> What is, how long did that take you? <laughs> um, this one took about twenty minutes. Jesus Christ! You're, oh, did what? Do, okay, here's another thing too: is that the slit? You all are fascinated with the slit, okay? I don't think that many. I don't know. Maybe I'm not. I don't speak for all men, okay? But most men don't like it when you just jam. They don't. Most men now. Again, I don't speak for all guys, but. That's a hell of a defined slit that you have there, and it's a little bit. Yeah, when you point... kind of squeeze it. See, when you squeeze the tip, you kind of it opens up, right? Kind of. Okay, well, I can. So yeah, that so actually it, gives you, you more access it. to. Jesus Christ. Do you ever? Do you have any ranch to put? I, I have mean... uh, not right now, but I have more of these, right? You know. Do you make? Do you make your poor husband eat your food porn? Like when you're done with all this, do you, cause this is not the first time you've done this sort of thing. 
How's it smell? Anyways, Sometimes does it smell? It smells like broccoli. Yeah, probably I would uh, broccoli and shame. That's yeah. It's cold. It's nice. <laughs> I'm just pressing it against my face. Jesus, I missed you, dude. <laughs> now, are you? Uh, I have to know that because I, I I've seen you outside of these interviews, not recently, but I have seen and. Like when you are on your own, like not entertaining people and not, you still do this. This is not like, you're just, you're just sitting at the fucking dining room table and you're still making things into dicks. Like that's kind of what you do. Um, well, not, not as often as you might I, think. I, but... I, well, but I, I don't know how often I would think the pictures that you would, I've seen your pictures just night after fucking night after night. And we hung out in Slack. There are just pictures upon pictures of just penises. Just you, you would draw all sorts of penis friends going on. I'm not saying all yeah. the time, but th th that happens a lot. Um, <clears throat> I got to go back. Does, does your husband, does he eat the food porn when you're done? Does this become part of um, dinner tonight? Sometimes, sometimes. Yep. Well, how about tonight? I mean, it's not gonna... stuff like that, but it's, it's, you know, cut up and stuff. So it's easier to eat. You cannot. I right. Mean, it's not could, just like, ah, just, just like, ah, just could. like they probably, probably not. Uh, you could probably do that. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. That's now you're also saying, and just, just to make sure I'm on the same, you're saying that's a small, that's a small mm -hmm. penis. Yeah, that's... I do have another one if you want to see it. Of course. Well, you know, I do. Yes. So that's why right everybody's ever, well, I mean, I don't know. You take your time. We were talking about Singapore and your first shock of coming over to the states i mean if you want to talk oh, yeah. about that or um yeah, yeah no no uh, uh you know what it's i think the food is a lot cheaper here like the the food prices are actually everyone says california food is expensive but it's cheaper than singapore it's why i kind of buy food every time i go to the store it's like wow well, that is so cheap so i buy it and then yeah How's the uh, the fish comparison? Because, I mean, you're still living pretty close to the coast right now, but Singapore was obviously an island, and you were just kind of surrounded by... How's the how's the fish, like, taste-wise? Actually, the same price. Price-wise, about the same? Yeah. Yeah. But chicken and beef is a lot cheaper. Do you, uh, do you guys buy the, uh, like, the beef by, like, the half-cow kind of thing, or you just go to the store and you get, like, what's on sale kind of... I do get what's on sale just because it's cheap. It's like so exciting when you go to the store and it's like, wow. I always wonder. Literally, like in Singapore, everything is imported. You have to get beef from Australia, New Zealand, USA. You don't have beef growing in Singapore or in the surrounding countries. They just grow vegetables. So basically, Where? it's like expensive. You guys don't, you don't have cows in Singapore? Mm -mm. No, we're the size of Los Angeles City. No shit. Well, my neighbor has a like a half acre over there, and he's got a cow. <laughs> like, really? I mean, like, yeah. I don't understand. I guess I've I've never been to Singapore or any place like that. So it's just not good to raise cows there, or it's just it's all there's city. There's no space. Yep, it's, it's just all, all kind city. Of city. I mean, there's a little bit of farmland, but they provide for like maybe five to ten percent of the food requirements. You know, I never even considered that before. So any source of meat that you guys were getting there, other than fish, that was being imported in. So that had mm -hmm. to be, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I pay, I, I get really expensive meat, right? Now I'm not mm -hmm. trying to brag or anything because I'm not rich mm -hmm. at all, no. but I pay a lot of money for my meat, you know, because I'm very picky about it, right? My hamburger is probably in the midst of seven dollars a pound to ten dollars a pound i pay a lot for mine in singapore do you remember what the prices were like like no, for hamper not really but i mean it's probably about that in that range yeah probably. i would i would think at least to import everything in so your diet then would consist of the vast majority of fish and then vegetables that's kind of what you did rice, probably the best sushi rice yeah sometimes I was... not much I've been trying to, I've, I've had this debate on rice for a long time, right? I looked up all the nutritional content on white rice, mm -hmm. white rice, supposedly. So apparently the brown, are you sniffing that ball? You're sniffing the balls on it right now. Yeah, it has no smell, by the way. This part has I, smell. The other part has no smell. Well, it depends on how frequently they've washed, but apparently some men 
and I'm not saying broccoli, but some men apparently just have, I was reading a book today for a living because I don't read, I don't read about men's balls when I'm not getting paid to do that. But I was reading this book today where the, the guy was going down on him and he stuck his nose all in the scrotum and he said, I don't understand why some men, why some people don't like the smell of genitals because I love the smell. And he went down and, um, I've never really noticed my smell, but I'm sure that it probably, that probably just smells more like broccoli, not like balls. I yep. bet. But yeah, yep. I would imagine. Um, the, the, the rice, there are two different kinds, right? That I know, main kinds, brown and white. That's the two different kinds that I know of. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Or are there more? Yeah. So the brown is supposedly still has the vitamins in it and the minerals and all that fun shit. And the white, they take all that stuff out, but then they enrich it in some way, shape or form. So they enrich it with what's supposed to be vitamins or not. And basically the white is just carbohydrates and not even beneficial carbohydrates, but the brown actually has some good stuff in it. Does that all sound accurate to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. So which do you like? Uh, just, I mean, different rice have, I like all of it. I mean, different rice has different properties. Like, you know, the sweet white rice is just, not, not sweet, but just jasmine rice. It's, after you chew on it on a while, it, it kind of gets sweet. But then, right. whereas if you have basmati, it's like kind of a nutty flavor. It's looser, not quite as sticky. And then you have things like glutinous sweet rice, which is kind of sticky and chewy. And then mm. you have brown rice, which is healthier, I guess. But I don't know. It's not quite as tasty, but it's still rice. It's not. It takes a while, too. It takes like, I can make white rice on the on the stove, right? Not the instant rice, fuck all that. I can make regular white rice in 25 minutes on my stove. The brown rice takes at least double that. It takes forever for, or you get like the crunchy. You you, you probably don't make it on the stove, do you? How do you make rice? On the stove. I mean, I, I have I, I have other things going on at the same time, so it, I don't really care how long it takes. <laughs> I always, but like the only time I make rice is I'll make like a big batch of it. I'll make a ton. Mm -hmm. I don't make it very much because it's all carbs. So I don't really do that a lot. But when I do, I will uh, I will make a ton of it and I'll have enough for like a week kind of thing. And it takes forever. Um, Mary says she likes brown rice. Mary's a chef, so she knows a little bit more. I can never, it always, you ever, I, I thought you, by the way, I thought you had like some sort of special rice maker thing. Anna was telling me about Rice cooker. I mean, most Asians have it, but it's, it's a big footprint on the counter so i don't really want one uh well that makes sense i knew that you were asian i think i'm not sure if it was the dick on your head or what but there was something in there. <laughs> just... oh you know i should show you one thing before we get out of topic remember this what? thing here what the fuck is wait wait i see the darth vader birthday are those penises it's a Little pe yes <laughs> you remember that one no, I don't. I don't remember that. I kind of remember that one because of the penis is going around, but I don't remember that one. So tell me about this one. God, I, I it's just you. a Darth Vader cupcake with penises. I mean... <laughs> is that just what it is? There's nothing... It's just a yeah. Darth Vader cupcake with penises. Yep. <laughs> oh, um, I, by the way, uh, I, I showed them yesterday. Uh, you're... Uh, your picture you sent me, it, it meant so much to me. I still have it as my back, my oh. backdrop to my, uh -huh. it's the, the window dog coming up on the Millennium Falcon window. That's my favorite picture you've ever done. It's fucking awesome. Uh, I showed them yesterday and I, I still have it as my backdrop. Um, <laughs> the, some of the other ones, I, uh, I took Anna's um, book that she sent me upstairs a couple of days ago. Um, or um, it wasn't a couple of days ago, a couple of months ago when I cleaned up the booth. Um, it's up there now, but I have all your pictures in there. Um, I just love mm -hmm. them. I still think that you should make a living doing some of that. Like, well, like maybe you could, you could totally make. <laughs> okay, I just saw you again. What is that? A corn stalk? Co okay. No, no. That's... This is a radish. It's Jesus a, a radish. fucking. That's why it's... Look at, look how big it is. Eva, you have a small face, but still, yeah, that's pretty big. That's that's pretty. Could you? I mean, if if push came to shove so to speak could you get that in your mouth i mean would it take just a I little mean... bit a little bit of i mean i don't know i don't want you to choke yourself or anything jesus fucking christ in a shit <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Please tell your husband I'm sorry. I was. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't mind. Right. No, I'm sure. But I, I, but that one smells like radishes, I would bet. Um, that's a hell of a lot of detail that you've got that's gone into the head of that as well. That's, yeah, let's get, oh my God, that's up your nose. Is that not right? It smells so like radish. This, I mean, that was another curious, a big radish. It was a curiosity thing. I, I mean, do all, is this what Singaporeans do? Like when you go to school and you come home and you work on math because you're you know, Asian and then then you you do the 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 cock art is that how the or is this just no. you the rest of your family it's anybody me. nobody I don't think so. this is what do you mean you don't think so you don't think that somebody would have asked like have you ever asked My, your I sisters mean, or your brother I mean have say, you ever asked any of them no not really yeah I Probably not. Have any of them ever come over here to visit you, or, or you just go back? My to sister school? has. Your sister. My has? sister has. Yeah, I showed her the Jiffy Pop popcorn, which is really cool. <laughs> Wait, the Jiffy? Do you not have Jiffy popcorn? No, not you know in that little pan, and then you heat it on the yeah. stove, and it goes oh, yeah. like. No, no. You don't have we that. We don't ever? have that. I. It's still crazy to me. Is I'm what I. What am I? What I wanted to talk to you about were the differences between the cultures, between the two. It fascinates me that you grew up on an island and the fresh fish. And to be honest with you, I've been thinking about you all week long because I've been watching the show. Um, it's a, a show on National Geographic. It's about Alaska and uh, these people that are living subsistence living up in Alaska, which absolutely fascinates me. I love it. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I, I was thinking the entire week because these people are like, they're catching like salmon right on the, the river there. They're pulling them out and... <laughs> This is such a crazy conversation. Every time I look up, you've got a cock up your nose. They, they're they they're pulling these, these salmon out of the river, and they're just splitting them right there. So they pull up. It wasn't a salmon. It was a white fish that came out. Mm -hmm. And there are eggs dripping out of it. So they pull it up mm -hmm. and just right, just, they suck out mm -hmm. the eggs right there. Mm -hmm. I thought of you immediately, and I was like, I bet you. I bet you Anna Weinhardt has done that before. Like, you know, because you're from the fucking island. That's all you guys, you eat fish and you do math and you pull it out and you and you suck that fucking thing. <laughs> Is that, I mean, have you ever sucked fish eggs that right out of a fish like that? I don't. Not really. I mean, I do eat the whole thing of egg, but not out of the, f it doesn't come that of... fresh for one. I, it seems to me like it, <laughs> Melissa asked me not to make that. Is it that sound you don't want me to make, Melissa? Is that the just like that? Because I won't do that again if you don't. Hey, hey, you wave, you wave the radish, and I'll do that at the same time. There is quality entertainment right there. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I mean, they could they could be friends like that. See, this is small. This is really big, like that. <laughs> Wait, we should make a song for it. Like, daddy finger, daddy finger, what? where are you? <laughs> Did I ever tell you the story? Um, no, I don't think you know, so. You, you know Nick, right? Nick J. Russo. Him and his uh, him and his wife used to work here, and uh. I was, I got hired to do a lot of things in my earlier years. And believe it or not, they weren't all as respectable as what I do now. And one of them was doing a children's song. And uh, the children's song was called Daddy Finger. Mm -hmm. It had nothing to do. You you, it kind of does sound a little weird, doesn't it? Um, so we recorded and there was a bunch of different, uh, there was a bunch of, like we had mommy finger and we had like uncle finger and all that. And so we needed, you need, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Oh, as I tell him about daddy finger, uh, all of, all of us had to sing this song. And my wife was in here doing it. And so, yeah, we had a, uh, we had Nick's wife, Jessica, mm -hmm. and she was in here singing the daddy finger part. <laughs> and she was, you know, you look very wholesome, by the way, like that. I don't know if, like, if you, if you know, you're like, that's like, you know, that's probably an ad for, for 4-H right there for, you know, growing the, 
your own veggies and <laughs> <laughs> so anyways yeah we had a we had we had jessica and, and nick and everybody else we were all singing daddy finger i have a recording of it around here somewhere so <laughs> what are uh <laughs> mary Hawkins? wow <laughs> I feel like I should I, I should ask you like things about your professional life, but this is just too much fun with you doing that. <laughs> um, what what professor book are you on right now? <laughs> oh, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll tell you about the previous one, which um, was actually about a banana boat. But the banana boat has like a penis on one end, like so. I'll <clears> see <throat> if I have a. You know what? I have a pin there. Was that the Christmas card? Pin. Yes. I, yeah, I saw I saw the Christmas yeah. card. Hang on that I, was from a book, though. Yeah, uh -huh. no, I want to see it. I Look, did not I know this. I have a pin then. I have a pin then, kind of. <laughs> you you see it, right? Like yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 I can. So it's just like to a get, bolt that, now, that can goes you, like that. I see the side. Can you put that up to your face once, just so I can it's just tiny. To okay, just make. I mean, it's not that small, but. <laughs> so anyway, it was a banana boat that goes through someone's front door, like that. Okay. Just goes through then. And he's like, "Wow." So wait, that's the intro of the book. That's the start of the book. Is is a banana boat crashes through somebody's front door? People are saying, by the way, in the crowd, people are saying that they got your card, which of course I I saw the picture on Facebook. I, but that's the intro of the book, which is fantastic. So yeah, how is that? Chapter one, but yes. How is that a professor, like professor student book? It's a professor's oh, house, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Banana, but how does is it the students' banana boat? Is that how that works? Yeah, yep. Yeah. What are they're so, not in? They're not in America. Then they're somewhere. I don't think we have banana boats in America. Well, it's in a kind of alternate universe, so it's so what it's possible. I mean. They can get pregnant, so anything is possible, really. <laughs> well, that, that's a good point. Like, I, you know, I'm not going to tap out of the reality there. Like, if they can have babies shoot out their butt, then, <laughs> then anything is possible. Banana boats on somebody's front porch. That makes sense. Um, I Yeah, because it's flooded, right? So I, I, I had to have a flood happen just so I could have the banana boat come in and crash through his door. <clears throat> How does the how does the angst work in then? Um, it, it, I, I that's pretty angsty. I I have to admit, but they're like there's no they don't want the the student and the professor to date because they're student professors, so age gap kind of thing. No, it's well okay because this is a a fairly long series. It started of uh, many books ago where they <clears> did not they did not actually want students to get together with professors with professors, but. As the books progressed, they kind of, you know, had changes in the law. So now it's okay. It's not quite as bad. Yeah. Well, that's a good change in the law, at least. That's... But I mean, because the book is also um, a, a dad's best friend book. So it's like he's still angsting about it because it's his best friend's son who comes to live with him. What, uh, what, what, how many books are you into the series now? I'm, well, that was the second one. I'm on the third one right now. Nice. It's fun. It has a hole in the wall. <laughs> Wait, so a glory hole? Is that you're getting into the glory hole no. territory now? No, it's a penis shaped hole. But Wait. I don't understand. In the wall, not not a a glory hole, but they have Let me like show a, a you. Have... man sized door, but it's a penis door. Yeah, like I'm Narnia. Sure. I, I... Yeah. I yes, I, I actually should. I drew a picture of it. Look like that. <laughs> where, 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 where is that in their reality? Is that in somebody's house? Is that? Yes, yes, yes. And when they walk through that penis shaped door, what do they come upon? Is that just well, like the other person's bedroom? <laughs> so, I mean, the bedrooms are joined by a penis hole. Like, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Anna. <laughs> oh.
gonna go down here for a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so this is not this is not a Narnia thing. This is not a they are walking through to another dimension. This is just their bedroom door. A little door. hole. No, it's not the bedroom door. It's a hole in the wall. So like a mouse hole or how did no. the Maybe I'm confused here. How did this hole get there? Is this a construction Nobody man knows. at some point was hired to cut a hole in the shape of a penis? Was that the case or did this accidentally you know, happen? No, see, you know, sometimes when you move into a house, you don't know what its previous owners have done to it, right? Yeah, well, I would, right, I would think that they would probably disclose about a penis hole, but okay, go ahead. That's, that didn't happen there. That's... Oh, I miss you. <laughs> From the lady that brought you sentient shopping carts comes the penis hole door that wasn't mentioned in the real estate ad. That's good. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, are you still, you're working on that right now? So you're working on uh, the Professor Universe thing? You got that going mm -hmm. on? Um, are you planning on, I know, my apologies, I know, and quite seriously, I know that you can't quite say this for sure. Um, and given your circumstances, are you, do you think that you're going to be able to do any cons in the next six months or so, or it's or just you're staying there right now? I'm staying yeah. here right now. Yeah, yeah, I completely understand. I wish that we had one closer to you so we could come see you again. Um, <clears throat> it was a blast getting all of us together once upon a time. Speaking of, have you heard? I'm not sure if on the air is the time to ask or not, but I haven't asked Anna. But it just made me think of it. Have you heard from Connor Crow at all? Is that, um, is that well is he's alive i know that good i just thought of him and i was like fuck i haven't heard from him in forever <laughs> since i did a she just finished a monster oh see lissa yeah. grambling is totally into your non-con stuff she is like all about yeah, it you know what i made one that's bigger. jesus fucking christ in a... <laughs> why would you do yeah. such a thing why would you look Look, see how no, big. Okay, it's so uh, first off, what the hell vegetable did that come from? It's a purple radish, but I mean, you can see the radish. I don't want to see the, the. Oh my god, that felt gross to me for a second. Even though I know it's just a radish, I was like, oh my god, I don't want to see the bottom part of that. <laughs> but okay, so with the last one, you were able to. Is that one? I mean, is that go in your mouth? Can you? No, it cannot know. look. Yeah, that's <laughs> punk. But look, it's big and curved like that. Yeah, that's a little. Uh, that's a little extreme. Um, yeah, it's a monster some, one. Somebody in the crowd just said, "Ever know what it's? Ever want to know what it's like to give birth?" Which, by the way, no, I don't. Um, have that thing. Fuck you. That would probably be pretty close. I would imagine. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So it's it appears big. to me that 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 uh, <clears throat> you all are going to have a vegetarian meal this evening. Is what it looks like to me. Probably. <laughs> what's what's up with now? Was that a planned thing? Normally, when you do these, most of them are I, sometimes a happy accident. But you got a strip of purple going along. The, so is that? Yeah. It's, so this is the original color of it. You well, I know the head. Me? I know the purple head. I get that. But along the back side, the skin there, that's, that was uh -huh. that planned? Is that how some people's are? I don't. Maybe. Some, some I mean, people's eggplants are. It could I don't, be. Possible. A radish, I guess. That's, uh, somebody said that's a flavor strip. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to lick it if you want. No, no, no. I'd, I'd rather not. No, no. I, uh, no. Jesus Christ. There's the tip of that. Is that, is that anatomically, I mean, I don't I really know. know how these things work. Now that one's, do you have a preference between making these or not, between the circumcised versus the uncircumcised? Do you like? Oh, uh, well, because mm. of the way they look, this is more obvious. Like I, I would do a 
uncut one, except you cannot tell it's a penis, right? You can kind of tell, but it doesn't show up quite as well. It's not, it's, it's a little, oh, now that it's next to your face, yeah, I can tell it's a penis, but, um, <laughs> do they, this is going to be kind of a personal question. Okay. And maybe it's something you don't want to share or not, but <clears throat> over in Singapore, are they all like circumcised or are they all like uncircumcised? I don't know if the Jewish, I don't know. Like you didn't, didn't do that no. sort of thing over there. Yeah. No. That was, uh, <clears throat> because here, I mean, it's pretty much a, it's, it's a flip, but it's probably 75% are circumcised. And then you got the 25% not apparently there's a lot of them here, but maybe you should ask your sister that the next time you talk to her. Problem. She doesn't like talking about these things, so I don't talk to them. That is so, her. that's so hard for me to believe yeah. coming from like a relative of yours. <laughs> I've never seen someone more open in their, like, it's not, you are very open about these things. I don't, <clears throat> maybe it's, you are playing that like a fucking saxophone is what you're saying. <laughs> It's big. It's juicy. I mean, <laughs> when you kind of peel the outside off, the skin is really, it's uh, really just juicy inside and slippery. And no, I can what? tell. I could, I, it's you know, cold. I don't even, I bet it is. I don't even like radishes. I'm not very, not very fond of the purple radish thing, but it looks like you are. <laughs> I mean, it's cold. Um, it's like so nice against my face. <laughs> Are you still doing this on on your in your Facebook group? Or are you still having those like uh, I the food the, carbon? I haven't done it in a while. I think I had I did. Yeah, it's been a while. <clears throat> it but. seems like you've got a lot of people that would be into that sort of thing again, um, hanging out here. And I know that the uh, I realized it took a lot of work, but when we did Anna's book and. Uh, <clears throat> over in the MM audiobooks group, we did that whole two day extravaganza and you were the entertainment in the middle while I was on break. That is still one of the most legendary stories that I get to tell. It's such a privilege. Um, and I, I don't even have a video recording of it. And once we pulled it down off really? that book, like no, that's gone forever. Um, Oh, you know what? I actually saved the video. You did? Dude, you have mm -hmm. to send that to me. I need that. Okay. I, w I want to put that up on YouTube. Um, if it's all right with you, I will put, like, I will I mean, chop out but, just that little thing of it. Yeah, that would help because I don't have, like, the video editing software, but if yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about it, too. I don't know if you remember years ago. We talked about DaVinci Resolve, that free one. That That's what I use now, and it's fucking perfect. It works like a charm. Um, so, is that comfortable to sleep on? I mean, if you just... Right Probably. It's cold. It's, it came out of the fridge, see, so I'm, like, just touching it. It's cold. <laughs> That's so. nice. Um, I, a couple things here. One, thank you so much for doing this. I, I miss you to death. Um, and I realize that a lot of times we get silly here. I wish we had more time to like catch up and do our thing, but, um, thank you. I, I miss you to death. Um, and I'm sorry I'm not in Slack much anymore, but to be fair, That's you only funny. pop in like at two o'clock in the morning in discord. So I don't see you in there either. Um, secondly, I, I missed a shit ton of comments in here because I've it's actually, I'm not even, I'm trying not to look at you while we talk. I'm like looking down here and it's like, no, 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 I can't. It feels like, because you're like my, my little sister and I can't, it feels weird with the little, and I'm used to seeing you with big penises in your face. And that sounds weird, but um, <laughs> still it feels <laughs> awkward to me. So uh, yeah. Um, and, uh, and and three, um, I, I wish you the best of luck um, with, with with everything that's going on um i know i never met your husband but best of luck to everybody um going on there um uh, thank you. We, yeah no thank you and thank you for doing this um i wish there was more we could do to help but um in the meantime thank you all for hanging out and i thank oh, you for coming you're on missing something what have you no 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 don't you show that yes, one don't you yes, don't I'm don't please show don't it. don't show that one come oh, on man. we were having such a good time and then you gotta don't do that to me please don't do no 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 so thank you no come on man i mean are you like that's horrible of you you take my idols and you crush them like you take you take my i love you should do this one a big one there you go wave 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 a cock at the camera bye <laughs> and we will bye. see you next time have fun